Hello, I'm Courtney Mahoney and I'm here with Blair and Hildebrandt and we are currently sophomores at Nelson County High School and members of the Young Leaders Program and I'm going to ask her a few questions. First, Lauren, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm a sophomore at Nelson County High School, like she said. I'm in student council, key club. So um, what kind of a procedure did you have to go through to become a part of the Young Leaders? Um, I had to get some recommendation letters from past teachers and like coworkers of my mom, people that I've met over the years. And then I wrote a short little essay talking about things that I want to do and things that I see that could be changed in society. So um, I understand that this is your fifth day. What all have you done before? Um, we had a business day. Uh, we've had, today was a media day. We, we had a factory day. We went to Fuji Seal. And now we will have a few students come up here and tell you about the days that we've had so far. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brennan Matthews and I'm currently a sophomore at Nelson County High School. Today with me I have Sarah Knott and we're going to talk about our Young Leaders program, the first day. So Sarah, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm a sophomore at Nelson County. I'll be attending Thomas Nelson next year. I'm currently in several sports at Nelson County and we're starting a new club at Thomas Nelson called Do Something, which will hopefully be intertwined with the Young Leaders program. Well, you sound very involved. Thank you. So Sarah, what was the first day of the Young Leaders Program? What did we do? Um, it was mainly a meet and greet, and we met with Bethlehem kids and Bardstown kids, which we just made, did many games that you just got to know with each other. So what was your favorite part about the day? I think my favorite part was the name game. That's, you put an adjective with your name to remember each other, and I think that was my favorite part. We did many icebreaker activities that day. Well, thank you. That was the first day. Hey, my name is Bailey Carrero, and he I'm here with Caleb Cecil, and we're both sophomores. I'm from Bardstown High School. He's from... Bethlehem. Yeah, and we're here to talk about the second day of Young Leaders. All right, the second day of Young Leaders, it was pretty good. It was about history and tourism, and, you know, when you live in Bardstown all your life, you're like, ah, this place is kind of, I don't know if it's that great. It's kind of boring, actually. I don't know why anybody would want to come here. But then, uh, that day I really learned that there's a lot of st interesting stuff about, about Bardstown, a lot of stuff that I, I didn't realize at one point. Uh, we're the Bourbon Capital Award, which is pretty cool. Um, and also, we visited the Jailer's Inn that day, and that was pretty cool. Uh, we talked about how, now it's a bed and breakfast, which is kind of weird, because it was a jail back then. But uh, we talked about how Jesse James was held there, I think. And, and then, we talked about how people escaped and how pe all these crazy stories and I don't know why you'd want to stay there at Bed and Burgers, but it's kind of cool. And uh, we just had a great day. Then we went to the art museum and learned a lot about it and we saw, I, don't, I forget what her name was, but she showed us many types of art and the many artists around Barstown. And it was pretty good. How was the Jailer's Inn? What all Jailer's Inn, it was pretty scary actually when he put us in the drunk tank thing because there was like no, no windows, nothing. it was just kind of like blocks everywhere around you and it kind of had like a little drain. I mean, it was just kind of scary looking like a horror movie or something like that. Mm. Okay, so do you appreciate Bard's Town more now that you've had this experience? I think I do, because there's a whole lot more history than you realize when you stay here all your life, because I didn't know much stuff at all. Hello, my name is Johnny Caldwell, and I'm a sophomore at Bard's Town High School. Today with me is Madeline Beasley, and we're going to talk about the third day of Young Leaders. So, Madeline, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a sophomore at Bard's Town High School as of this year. Yeah, very interesting. What all did you do on the third day of Young Leaders? Okay, so our theme was government, and we went to a bunch of different places around Barstown. Um, we went to the police station, the fire station. Um, we went to the courthouse and got to meet Bill Shekels and uh, Mayor Shekels and talk with him. What was your favorite part? Um, I really enjoyed going to the police station and getting to talk with Officer Campbell because I've grown up with him, but I didn't know much about his job. And I also enjoyed the very yummy lunch at Fazoli's that we got to have. Because they had some good breadsticks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily Davis from Nelson County High School. I'm a sophomore there, and this is Amber Pate, who is also a sophomore there. And she's going to tell us about day four of our young leaders, which was the Business Industry Day. So, Amber, tell me about yourself. Well, like you said, I'm a sophomore at Nelson County, and... I am currently playing tennis and that's, well, yeah. So what did you do on day four? Day four we came to the courthouse, this house, and <laughs> we 
and we talked to the person who was in charge, well not in charge of the bank, but associated with the bank and she told us our job, her job to us and then we went to <laughs> the Fuji Seal and we learned about how the labels were made and it was very noisy there and then we ate pizza and then we went to and we went to to Sherman Williams <laughs> and we learned about their big company corporate corporate <laughs> jobs as opposed to the small privately owned business of wildflowers and we went there and they had a lot of nice stuff and that's about it so what was your favorite part of that day the Fuji seal because it was really just there's just so much there. I'm Annabelle Beam and I'm a sophomore at Bethlehem High School and I'm here with Jan Ballard who works for the Chamber of Commerce and what do you exactly do you do with the Chamber of Commerce? I do a lot of things with the Chamber of Commerce Annabelle. I'm an executive assistant there. Our job at the Chamber is to represent small business and industries, people working in Nelson County, uh, helping to promote our area here. So. I get to work with lots of people, but I get to work with the teenagers through the Young Leaders Program. Okay, what's the favorite part of your job? Favorite part of my job has got to be the Young Leaders Program. I get to work with teenagers from all of our local high schools. I've been with the Chamber of Commerce for almost four years, so I've been doing Young Leaders Program for three. Okay, can you tell us what the Young Leaders will be doing for the rest their last two visits? Well, we do have, we meet seven times during the year, so we've had several uh, very interesting days together. Next month, we're going to be doing a volunteer activity with the Nelson County Feed America program at the Nelson County Fairgrounds, and I think we're going to have to figure some treat in there. I've been hearing a lot of talk about cupcakes and ice cream, so mm -hmm. I, I think maybe that's going to have to be part of our next visit. And then the last day of the year in May, we have Agriculture Day, and the Nelson County Extension Service plans a farm tour for us. Okay. All right, and that was with Jan Ballard on Young Leaders. Child farm labor laws. There are many feelings when this is said. For some people, the feeling has been becoming negative because the Department of Labor has proposed new laws, new restrictions. Such restri restrictions would be not being able to be higher than six feet or not being able to work in tobacco. These restrictions will eventually close down, shut down small or family farms because, because of this. With not having m young men and women helping them, they will not be able to function.